Uh, welcome to our presentation on CFT modeling of oil spill trajectory. This is my team, uh, myself Suman, and this is Nathan and Sandra. I've been taking care of the MATLAB, and uh, Nathan and Sandra have been taking care of ANSYS model, and, and our instructor is Mariam Shafai. Great guys, this is our table of contents. So we have an overview, then I'll talk about my ANSYS modeling, then Sandra will talk about her ANSYS modeling, then Suman has the MATLAB portion, and then we'll conclude. This is our overview. Uh, so the why of this is that uh, oil spill trajectory modeling is currently very time inefficient with CFD methods. Uh, so we're going to try and improve this by modeling the situation as a monophasic case, which will reduce the time needed to plot the trajectory. And then this should result in a lower computational cost. Uh, so for my uh, portion, uh, the key points I focused on were applying uh, tidal current as time varying function. Uh, similarly, I modeled wind effects in small waves as a time varying shear stress at the top of the domain. And then I modeled rotational effects by applying a rotating reference frame, frame. And then the model domain is monophasic with an injection of oil particles. Uh, this is my mesh. Uh, the boundary conditions are the same. The key one is the top layer of shear stress. Uh, these are the equations that ANSYS is solving. Uh, the equation includes terms for rotational acceleration, which again were modeled by a rotating reference frame. Uh, this is my uh, inlet velocity and shear stress graphs exported from ANSYS. Uh, the shear stress is applied at the top of the water surface and the inlet velocity is a time varying function at the inlet. Uh, so these are my results. So for my uh, developed velocity field, you can see we're in good agreement with uh, the results in the study. Uh, I have dead spots at the same spot like here and on the right over here. These are my trajectory results. Uh, these are densities measured every 50 seconds. We can see again, I'm in good agreement with the results obtained in the study. Oil travels down into the left. So I have modeled my, my my project as a 2D simulation. And one of the key things that was done in the paper that I focused on was modeling the velocity as a varying time velocity. So in the paper, there was a tidal wave. And when the velocity is constant, the oil spill tends to stay at the inlet. So what I've done is I modeled it as a changing velocity. And this is my velocity in ANSYS. And this is the velocity for the paper. So I, I, my results here match what was in the paper at the initial start of my simulation, which led me to have results where the trajectory is also similar because I noticed that my oil particles tend to come towards the end, which is the desired location similar to what was done in the paper. My conclusion is that the shear stress and the changing velocity are like what was done in the paper. They, they tend to align with what was done. Thank you. And uh, thank you for the information about answers, Sandra and Nathan. Uh, coming to MATLAB, um, these are the result about the shear stress at the sea surface due to wind and velocity at the inlet of the domain. On the left, we can see the first graph that indicates the variability or in x and y direction component of shear stress, which would be due to the change of wind speed and direction. On the other hand, the second graph shows the velocity at the inlet of the domain over like 30 hours time period. The positive and negative of the line flow indicates the water into the domain and away from the domain. And uh, the other graph which we have is like two plots on the left, the surface velocity induced by the wind. The lines increase in the velocity as the wind speed increases. And uh, the total induced velocity is crucial. At, it kind of illustrates the impact of higher wind speed on surface velocities. On the other graph, which kind of indicates the total surface velocity induced by wind, the X component has a significant uh, peak and drops, and the Y has a smoother curve, up, and the absolute value tends to like provide the like insight of all the intensity of combined effect of X and Y component. And uh, this is a MATLAB simulation, as you can see, uh, this is over a time for 10 hours time period of MATLAB simulation of oil trajectory over time like the spill and the first is of four hours and uh, six hours and nine and ten hours as you can see the oil simulation starts around at uh, 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 80 to like 200 at the four hours and it tends to move over the uh, time period and uh, these are the other MATLAB equations which are used to get the solver equation for the simulation. So like velocity components and uh, this is stoke drift and modified logarithm and the other equations which have been uh, used to solve the equations too. And uh, coming to conclusion, yeah. Uh, so our model successfully provides an accurate trajectory prediction uh, at a reasonable computational cost. Uh, it didn't seem to have wild improvements in computational cost like they uh, were hoping for in the study and like we were hoping for. Uh, but we did receive an accurate uh, trajectory. So uh, hopefully with improvements in computational power, uh, we'll be able to um, more accurately and uh, more efficiently simulate the oil trajectory.
and uh, these are our references uh, which is used for answers and for the matlab uh, yep yeah. thank you